You. I had to tap in one more time real quick, man. One of my folks just asked me why I'm so high on Billy Q this week, man. Listen, man. Billy Q's a fucking machine. And I understand he's seven, eight years older than this young man. Sitting at 35 while Yusef Salau sitting at 27. But that don't mean shit. And until Billy Q shows me that that means something, that don't mean shit. That man's a fucking machine, man. And it's no disrespect to Yusef Salau. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying to you, I respect the body of work that that young man has put out. If not for anything else, that young man is consistent in what he puts out. And he's a decisionator, man. He don't really get put away and he don't do too much putting away. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I respect the fact he took Ilya Topira to a decision without getting put away. And he took Sean Woodson to a decision without getting put away. Because that's two individuals whose handle I respect inside that cage. You understand what I'm saying to you? But with that being said, the volume ain't there, man. The pressure is not there. He might be there when that 15 minutes is over, but he's not catching the dub. He's not getting the victory. He's not walking away with the win. You understand what I'm saying to you? Billy Q. That's all day, every day, even on Sunday to me, man. You know what I mean? And I know Yusef Salau is coming back into the UFC with something to prove, maybe a chip on his shoulder. But I don't think he's going to have the volume. I know he's not going to have the volume unless Billy Q is washed. And Billy Q needs to show me that he's washed. And I'm going to rock with him until he's washed. But unless Billy Q is washed, Yusef Salau has not had the volume to keep up with this young man and he will lose via the decision, unanimous decision. That's just my personal opinion.